Hi there, I'm Jennifer Pasqua, your host for the upcoming virtual fundraiser for Children's Advocacy Center of Kent County. And we hope you will join us on May 5th right here on our Facebook page for a portion of the event. Now, leading up to that day, we are talking with people who are personally invested in the positive programming and services provided by CAC of Kent County. And today we're going to be speaking with a former board member and current supporter, Lawrence Duffler. And Lawrence, hi, how are you? How are you doing, Jennifer? So tell me, first of all, how you were first introduced to CAC. Uh, well, my wife and I started supporting them about probably 10 years ago. Uh, frankly, we did a Google search for children's organizations to support and found the, the CAC. So uh, we started as supporters. And then uh, one of the board members, uh, Mary McLaughlin, uh, invited me to be on the board. So I was on the board for about uh, eight or nine years until just uh, just this last spring. For you, what was the one thing that really truly stood out and why you wanted to be involved? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, well, you know, when we first got involved, we knew the type of work that they did. Uh, you know, we, we, we knew kind of the services that they perform, but I really didn't want to get too deep into it just because of the topic. It seemed kind of, frankly, scary and, you know, just depressing, frankly, that a, an organization like this was necessary. And as I got deeper into the organization and started to learn about the people or the people that were being served, what I discovered was this was a place of, of hope and renewal. It was it was such a positive place. These were these are kids that have been through the worst of the worst, and yet when they come through this organization uh, and and ultimately ultimately leave after the counseling and all the interactions with the staff, they're empowered. Uh, they're they're new kids again. Every contribution is really going to make a difference. I mean, you saw it yourself as a former board member. Yes, yes. So there really is no, uh, there's no amount that's too small, uh, you know, but at the same time, the, the, what's ironic about the time that we're living in, frankly, is I, I think the need is probably growing while we speak. Uh, this isn't the stranger danger. This is typically someone that they know, someone that they've been around. Uh, and now you've got all these kids that aren't going to school anymore. They're all at home, not necessarily that it happened just at the home, but they're, they're sequestered under all of, all of these guidelines. So the, the opportunity for this type of abuse just continues, I think, to rise. So now is not the time to back off the services and the, and the need that we have in the community, but a time to really re-engage. Again, if you would like to join in this virtual fundraiser, it is happening May 5th. We're going to give a link in the captioning so that you can join in. And Lawrence, I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Jennifer.